Hey guys, it's Lauren from KLK, and today I'm going to show you how to make an edible candy corn EOS. So let's get started. First, you're going to need is an empty EOS that's been cleaned out with soap and is ready to use. You're going to need a knife, a cutting board, some candy corn, my fave, a bowl that's microwavable, safe, and a toothpick. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to take some candy corn and we're going to need three sections because there's three sections on a candy corn. You're going to need white, orange, and yellow. So we're going to have to cut the white, the orange, and the yellow separate into separate groups and separate them. You're going to need lots of white. You're going to need more or less yellow. And you're going to need not a lot at all of orange. And you're going to cut them all up until you have enough. And you're going to put them in the microwave until they're semi-melted. That's important. And I'll talk about that again later. But make sure you have your candy corns cut into thirds. Now that they're all cut, you're going to put them in the microwave in separate stages. So here you can see I'm putting in the white candy corn tips and putting them into a microwavable safe bowl. And I'm going to put that in there. And this is what I mean by semi-melted. You don't want it all the way melted, but you want it the consistency of Play-Doh so it's easier to pick up and put into the lid of your EOS and make it turn out really nicely. So put that in the microwave and we'll come back. Okay, my sister videotaped wrong, but the wrong way. But anyway, um, when I said it was important to make it like Play-Doh, and this is why, because it's going to stick to the bowl, and it's going to be really, really, really hard to get out. So if it's not as melted, it'll be easier. And then you stick it into the top. The top sounds weird, but if you want it to look like an EOS and have like the perfect shine to it, then you're going to put it on the top of the EOS so then it looks really, really nice. So, yeah. And getting the rest of the residue. So, now do the same for the orange. And I had way, way, way too much orange. And it overflowed in the microwave. And it got all over the bowl. And it was a pain in the butt to clean. But you're going to also put that in the top. And you want less of the orange so that you can have yellow in the back and see it, because in mine you couldn't. And then now you're going to have to put the grate, pop the grate off the bottom and stick it onto the top so then your yellow has some support and your EOs won't fall out while you're eating it. And just pop it on and it's really easy to get off and put back on. And then put your yellow over. So, I switched containers because one overflowed, and two is getting really hot and is a mess to pick up, so switch in bowls, put your yellow in the bowl, and put it in the microwave until it's semi-melted. And yeah. And then, I also switched to a spoon because I thought it'd be easier, but that's what I mean by semi-melted. Like, on the last time I tried, I actually got the semi-melted correct. And so, it's easier, way easier to move and get into one big clump. And the toothpick wasn't working, so then I just set it aside and used my hands that are washed and molded it into the EOS so it was flat and ready to go in the fridge. So, there's that. And put in the fridge for about... 20 to 30 minutes. I actually, in the end, put mine in the fridge for 15 minutes, and it was 10 times better. And here it is, and so all you have to do next is just put the bottom on, snap it on. It may take a couple of big pushes to put it on, because... I can't do it right, and yeah, so just put it back on, snap it tightly so it doesn't fall off, and there you go, that is an edible EOS, and mine looks not like a candy corn, but it still 
is edible, and I haven't seen an edible EOS tutorial yet on YouTube, so this is the very first one, and yeah, guys, also, since it's really sticky, the top may fall off, come off, and that's easy, it snaps right back on, but yeah, see, and you could tell that I used way too much orange because you can't see any of the yellow, and just screw it back on and then you're done. And so that's an edible EOS. Please just subscribe for more videos like this. And subscribe, share the video if someone likes candy corn. Also, the candy corn got harder, so it's more like a sucker than a actual piece of candy corn. So yeah, subscribe, like, share, subscribe to KLK, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!